Good morning. Jamie here. So we're looking at the latest of the swell slash pit slash Luna, whatever you want to call them. This is where I'm putting them. Right here. And this is continuing on. I've got two more there so it catches what's coming off the driveway that I'm trying to lift. But the purpose of this video is to show you exactly what's growing and how it's doing with the existing swells. As you can see, it's a lot greener. We have a lot more grasses coming up everywhere. Now, I do have a lot of the Sahara mustards, which i got to pull. But I also have the Larkspur coming back up. And it looks like lupine seed took. I'm pretty happy about that. This is the first swell. The orange tree looking rough, but it's putting on new leaves. The lime tree is doing really well. This area here, this one's about two years old. Got a lot of chicory coming up. And again, I'm pulling most of these Saharas, trying to get them out of the ground. This in here is looking pretty good. A lot of chicory. A lot of the desert flowers coming up. But overall, you can tell there's quite a bit of difference. A lot more green this year. And I was really surprised about how much grass has come up. I mean, super excited. All the newly planted palabertes and mesquites are coming alive. Love these little guys. Wish I had more. <laughs> But I'm sure they'll come. Now the mustards that we did spread, they're doing well. Seems to have naturalized. And over here we have some red mustards. Those seem to have done well. In here, a lot more grass. A lot more chicory. A lot more stuff just holding the ground in place. Taking it from the wind the weather but it's starting to look pretty good now let's go out here take a peek these pits getting roots in the ground and that's a good thing here's the mosquitoes coming back waking up this is the swell system we haven't seen work yet. Um, we haven't had a movement type event. We've had good rain, but nothing really moving since March last year. We have a good chance tomorrow that things are going to move around. We have an atmospheric river coming through. But as you can see, a lot more grass. This is native grass, so I'm really happy about that. Whoop. Cat shooting through. All in all, definitely greening. Over here, I've started extending that out. And this is where the next check area. Sorry about the cats running through. And we've got this one built. And that's coming off the top up here where everything comes from up here and runs down. And then ends up running down that way. So we're going to see hopefully soon how that works. And I'm not going to really do much more until I see it work. Um, this is the last one I dug in. I've taken out a lot of the creosol bushes. I didn't take them out completely, but I just chopped them down. 
I find them better when they're, give me an example, bushy like this. They seem to be a lot healthier and they'll come back. Um, I don't know if you can see the ones by the bus, but I've done it on most of this area just to keep them under control. And they're big water hogs from what I hear. But I've also heard that they inhibit growth around them. I haven't seen that. Um, a lot of plants seem to like growing around them. Maybe something deep rooted doesn't like it. But this is starting to look pretty good. Can't wait to see it after it starts working. It's an effort. That's for sure. Now, our ocotillos are getting ready to bloom up top. And I love it when they get all green like this. They look huggable, <laughs> as Dana says. But you wouldn't want to hug these spikes. Not unless you're into that rough love. But I thought I'd give an update out here. This is an area that we're not doing a lot of control on other than the water and the weirs. Kind of want to naturalize it and take out the majority of the dominant species that we have in here, which are the sage and the creosol, and put in, have more like white rattanies. Um, and wildflowers in here. So we're hoping this works out. I'm going to walk over here real quick and show you one that I worked on last spring. As you can tell, these pits really fill up with greenery. And again, a lot of them are Sahara mustards. And my solution to that is I'm going to kind of leave them in the ground, but I'm going to cut off all the flowering spikes. Maybe that will kind of control them. But this I dug in yes, uh, last spring and it's starting to green up. Got a lot more grass down there. A lot more grass over there. So it's starting to really go good. Um, this is what I meant about the, the creosote. If you chop them to the ground, and let them come up. They tend into more healthier small bushes. And I've tried it in different, like leaving some tops, see if I can't grow one like a tree in little bushes. And to me, they just look better than this. Leggy, you know, not as green. Takes more water to, and so that way I get to leave them. Now I have a couple of things did naturalize out here. Um, I've got daikons popped up out here, and I've had pak choy um, come up here. So continue doing that, trying to repair everything. But overall, as you can see, a lot more greener. So. We'll keep you updated on this. Thanks for watching. Be sure and be kind to one another. Crazy world.